Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We're so excited to host you at the upcoming NASA Space Apps New York City Global Challenge. And um, I wanted to introduce uh, Women's Fear a little bit to you. I'm a NASA data knot, as Joe mentioned. Um, so you know astronauts, they're explorers of space and the universe, and they go to outer space. Those of us um, have the second best job possible after astronauts, which is being a data knot, explorers of data. So in my pastime, that's what I do, and I work with a collective of over 100 NASA data knots all over the world to look into NASA data and figure out you know, what better insights we can glean from the uh, trillions of terabytes of data that NASA has about the universe, which is super fascinating. So I'm honored personally, and Women's Fear is honored to be a co-organizer of NASA Space Apps New York. We are also producing um, NASA Space Apps Challenge in the Philippines, which is where I'm originally from for the first time. So that's also very exciting. And uh, I'm able to parallel process because I have a great team there as well. Steamwork is everything. And you know, the Space Apps New York team is pretty awesome. So uh, just a little background in women's sphere. Um, we started uh, 10 years ago. So we're celebrating our 10th year anniversary. And we started with producing summits and festivals. We currently have a portfolio of four different initiatives that we run. Um, we have introduced this year our Innovation Leadership Lab. And Hannah Payne, who's going to speak after me, is going to speak about best practices in excelling in hackathons. But she is a program manager for our Innovation Leadership Lab and for our Incubator Network, which provides free training and education primarily for women and girls. Um, our summits and festivals and our foundation are, are open to everyone, so we welcome guys to be a part of our community. Um, but Women's Fear's mission is really around empowering women and girls to create the future, so that's one mission, and then promoting a world where all of us, men, women, people of all genders, can work together towards building a more sustainable and more inclusive and more equal world, um, since we are, you know, <laughs> Thank you. Since, uh, so, so let me just repeat that since Jolie was like, uh, um, so anyway, Women's Fear's mission, as I mentioned, is about promoting um, equality and collaborations that enable us to have a more sustainable and more inclusive future. It is also about empowering women to create the future. And so we have a lot of programs towards that. One of the programs that we're, we've, we're introducing under the Innovation Leadership Lab is the Women's Fear Global STEAM Fest. And so we have the NASA Hackathon, it's focused on data. The Women's Fear Global STEAM Fest is focused on empowering women and girls to basically use STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts and design and mathematics, to help achieve the global goals for sustainable development. And um, I, I have a question, how many of you uh, know what the global goals for sustainable development are? Awesome. So this is what they are. There are 17 global goals. And actually, it's super amazing to have SAP Next Gen as one of our partners as well, because they are all about helping achieve the global goals for sustainable development using innovation. So um, these are the 17 goals that 193 member states of the United Nations agreed to help achieve by 2030. So there are all of these collaborations happening around this. And you know, it starts with ending extreme poverty as global goal number one. And so for all of us here, I think that you know, we all care about the world and our planet. I'm sure that we have some favorite global goals over others. But the question that we ask ourselves is, how do we use innovation? How do we use our talents? How do we use collaborations and entrepreneurships to help make a dent in helping achieve these global goals. So for us at Women's Fair, you know, we're introducing the STEAM Fest. It's a way to really um, approach, harness, and mobilize creative power, coding power, artistic power, video power, to help create vision around solutions to these goals. And Hannah can speak a little bit more about that, because she is actually overseeing that part of what we do. Um, and, and so I think um, those of you that are getting started with the NASA Space Apps Hackathon would also love for you to, you know, would love to encourage you to continue on the journey beyond Space Apps into thinking about these global goals that our planet really has to tackle and how you can individually make a contribution and how we collectively can make a contribution in helping achieve these goals um, since we all share one planet. And 
this is really the question that, you know, we're really all about this. How do we create the future together? And I think there's so much about the spirit of NASA, the spirit of space apps in New York City, that is all about asking the same question and standing for the same things. How do we create this amazing future together? So with that, let me introduce Hannah Payne, our program director, to share a little bit about the mechanics for the STEAM Fest and to kick off a session in how to excel in hackathons. She's the former CEO of Hack New York as well, before she joined Women's Sphere. So um, let's head back to, just briefly, to the um, schedule for the Global Code Fest. Um, is there anyone in here who is currently a female student? We are all professionals in here, but perhaps you know one. Um, you have a sister, you have a friend. Uh, we're encouraging everyone to invite the women, whether they are undergraduate or graduate students, to participate in our Global Code Fest. Um, we have the Code Fest, which will be running from November 1st through 11th. Uh, students can sign up in Teams via our website. Um, we will ask them uh, for their goals as a person, as well as for their team information, because by entering one of these competitions, they'll be entering a, glo a more global women's sphere pipeline where we will be mentoring them and following them along as, as they journey to becoming successful adults. Um, so with the Code Fest, you sign up. Um, you will then get access to our DevPost page. Um, I imagine if you've competed in hackathons before, you may have used DevPost, formerly Challenge Post. Anyone in here? Yeah. Um, a lot of hackathons use that type of software to submit things. All of our uh, submissions need to be open source, so they'll be things that are uh, hosted on GitHub. Um, Students will submit. Um, we will validate them uh, to, as being uh, proper submissions from an educational institution, um, all with the students' work, that kind of thing. And then they proceed to judging by our global expert team of judges. Um, I forgot when I said the word expert that I forgot to mention our, our mentoring program, which will be running throughout the competition. We'll have several live streams and possibly even some in-person mentoring here during the event. Um, so after you submit, they go to judging. Um, there will be semi-finalists and finalists, and then um, everything will be exhibited as part of a larger media um, production to the rest of the world. And then finally, next year, we will have our um, award ceremonies. <laughs> and that is the plan. And we hope that, yeah, you'll invite the uh, women students in your life to participate because this should be awesome.